we're going to um, use the protactinium generator as a radioactive source with a short half-life. It's stored upside down, attached to the inside of the lid. The way the protactinium generator works is that there's a mixture of chemicals inside, and when we shake them, the isotope with the shorter half-life comes to the top and is able to be measured by the Geiger-Muller tube. And we've now got to give it 20 seconds to settle inside the container. And what I need to do is to record the count rate every 10 seconds over five or six minutes. Reset the timer, and I'm going to write down the count rate every 10 seconds. And 10 seconds, 154. I've reset the counter. Okay, and what will happen is over the five or six minutes, that count rate for 10 seconds will decrease as the half-life of the radioactive isotope continues on its uh, decay curve. Another way to measure the decay rate is with a computer data logger, which will plot the results on a graph. The count rate will increase for the first few seconds, so we exclude those. You can highlight that the points don't make a smooth curve because of the random nature of decay. But drawing a smooth curve through the points shows the trend of the readings.